Hey guys, Travis Wanlin here, community manager here at Razer. Uh, you may know me as Razer Mjolnir. I'm going to be walking you through the Razer Mamba and the unboxing thereof. So this here is the Razer Mamba. This is what it's going to look like on a store shelf. And it gives you a nice 360 view of the mouse so you can see it from all angles. So the first thing you're going to do is pull that packaging out of its cover and pop off the front panel here and the clear cover that comes with the Mamba. And what you're left with is the Mamba on its pedestal and all the included packaged items stored right underneath. So we're going to take a look at what you get as far as the manuals. Right here you have the quick start guide explaining uh, how to get your Mamba up and running, the user manual for any issues, and also the certificate of authenticity. Now with these items aside, let's go ahead and take a look at the mouse itself. The first thing you're going to want to do is pop the clip off in the front which releases the mouse from its pedestal and we can get a better look at the mouse. Underneath here you see where the battery compartment is, where you can place the battery, we'll get to that in a second. And inside this box here we have three drawers containing everything you're going to need to get your Mamba up and running. Right here is our USB cable. It's a braided cable that has a proprietary connection to plug into the front of the Razer Mamba and also into the back of the charging station. Same cable goes into both, one end into the computer. There you can see it right there, what it looks like. And this cable fits snugly into the front of the mouse, which can charge while you're playing, or unplug it and the mouse will play wirelessly. So inside the next drawer here, we have the battery. Now this is a lightweight battery that goes right into the bottom of the Mamba where you saw before and this is a cover to cover up that battery keep it from falling out. Fits right into the bottom there. So next up we have the charging station itself. Now this is similar to the pedestal which you saw the Mamba on in the packaging and you see the two connectors there which charge it. Let's go ahead and pull that out and right into the back of this charging station fits that same plug that fits into the front of the Mamba to give it power. So you take that plug and fits right into the back here and that will put the Mamba into a wireless mode instead of wired. And finally you just place the Mamba on top once the base station has power and it'll charge. That's pretty much everything that comes inside of the box. Hopefully you'll be able to unbox your own and see for yourself. Thanks for taking a look at what we've got in store for you, and hopefully you'll be picking up the Mamba soon.